Just like in everyday spoken English, where we use things like gonna and wanna, the French take shortcuts for similar reasons. And in today's video, I'm gonna go through three of the most common of these shortcuts so that you can feel more confident in your everyday interactions in French. And we're gonna start right now. This first point is huge because it's not taught in books nor in classes. Just like the abbreviation of je to j apostrophe when followed by a vowel in a sentence, which is thought of as official French and that you are taught, the same goes for tu and the abbreviation to t apostrophe. It happens in 99.9% .9 of everyday situations, so I encourage you to use it right away. Let's look at a couple of easy examples using avoir and être because not only are they two of the most common verbs, but most of their conjugations start with vowels. Uh, just as a recap, the French vowels are the same as in English, A, E, I, O, U, plus Y. So we can say, uh, are you hot? Now, correct French would tell us to say, tu as chaud, tu as chaud. But with this abbreviation, we would say, Ta chaud, ta chaud. And one example with être would be in the past tense in this case, completely at random. We could ask, where did you go last night? Where did you go last night? Now an informal way of asking this is to say, tu es allé où hier soir? Tu es allé où hier soir? But even more informal and even more accurate in uh, everyday French would be to say, t'es allé où hier soir? T'es allé où hier soir? Number two involves il y a, il y a, that incredibly useful phrase in French which translates to both there is and there are in English. But even this relatively short phrase is not short enough for the Frenchies in everyday use. They will go further and reduce that down to ya, ya. So one example would be il y a deux filles là-bas, il y a deux filles Laba, there are two girls over there, and that becomes ya de fi laba, ya de fi laba. So if you can get your head around listening out for ya instead of il ya at the beginning, you're going to have a much easier time of understanding what people are saying when they want to talk about the availability of something. There is, there are. How many times a day do you think you use I am in English or I'm? Well. Similarly in French, because they use it so, so often, they had to come up with a way to make it flow off the tongue a bit faster and a bit smoother. So je suis, je suis, which I hope you're all familiar with by now, has become shri, shri. So whether you want to form a simple sentence to describe yourself, such as je suis content, ou je suis malade, this becomes je suis content, ou je suis malade in French in fast, regular, informal conversation. Je suis content. And the same goes for more complex uh, sentences. Let's use the example of to have gone somewhere, where you use uh, je suis allé. That becomes je suis allé. So je suis allé au cinéma becomes je suis allé au cinéma. Je suis allé au cinéma. Or even further, je suis allé au ciné. Je suis allé au ciné. Je suis allé au ciné. So to sum up, number one is the abbreviation of tu to T apostrophe when followed by a vowel. Number two is the reduction of ilia to ya. And number three is the sort of mishmash of je suis down to shui, shui. So I hope this list has been helpful and your challenge for this week is to go out and try and identify these contractions and these shortcuts that the French make, as well as try to slip them into your conversations if you feel comfortable enough. All right, aspiring francophones, well, that's it for this week's video. I really hope you found it useful. Of course, if you're new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. It would really help the channel grow and share the video with anyone you think would also find it useful. I post every single week, so uh, don't forget to come back to watch future videos. Of course, you can leave me any questions you have down below in the comments, but until the next time, uh, I wish you a very bonne semaine et à la prochaine. Ciao.